multiplayer cinema and the department store. But I think it's important in this case how do we use uh, <coughs> in this particular instance uh, certain uh, traces of the local history uh, in order uh, to embed them into the envelope uh, and uh, use them. Absolutely. 
right uh, movement. We are basically in front of the dome, which is a massive uh, big thing. We need to be pretty solid to withstand the presence of the of the dome. So what we decided to do is to use the pattern to create a kind of signal uh, that will uh, distort the scale of uh, its uh, perception and what happens uh, inside and turns it into, into a kind of object uh, in front of the, of the dome. Uh, so in order to uh, do that, we devised this uh, system <coughs> of perforations that will do away from, with, the, with the kind of layering of, uh, of the floors that usually uh, appears in the expression of uh, schools uh, with two layers of, uh, of uh, windows that can change depending on what the functions inside of the building are. So you can see that depending on where it is an unfolding of that envelope uh, by adjacency uh, uh, and you can see how that uh, enables us to, to differentiate those perforations. It's a kind of split level inside that uh, is aimed to also liquidify the space uh, of that silo and produce synergies across the different departments of the school. But you see how these two <coughs> layers of uh, changing uh, holes operate and wrap around the, the, the floor of, uh, of the building. And uh, what is more interesting <coughs> for me is that uh, uh, despite that, uh, or, or on top of, uh, of uh, that uh, relationship between the program and the, the scale of the, of the holes uh, uh, around the, the building, we uh, started exploring this desolation, <coughs> which is derived from Penrose uh, pattern, uh, where, where with three uh, pieces uh, uh, we are able uh, to gradate the holes. So you can see uh, the different sizes of holes that you can that you can produce, um, and, and when the holes uh, grow, the edge of the hole becomes uh, <coughs> corrugated. And so these are the different types of holes, uh, and so these holes are the ones that are composing that part of the, of the facade. So what we uh, did with, uh, with uh, those pieces was to color code uh, these uh, with three different colors. So every time that one of these tiles had the same relationship to the, to the center of the array that produced this kind of process, this kind of uh, new uh, type of uh, art, uh, <coughs> Uh, or uh, pattern, uh, uh, wallpaper uh, pattern, they are coded in, in the same color. And that means that every time that the size of the window changes, the pattern around changes. So, <coughs> you see what happens. Uh, the, the, in a way, the, 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 the floor of the presentation of the building is also related to the size of the windows and produces again uh, a repetitive, consistent, yet Differentiated uh, effect. These are uh, mock ups of uh, how this uh, pattern is uh, working with the construction conditions in the summer. The flat is a third category. I don't know whether I have to go, time to go to the four categories, uh, Peter will have to tell me. Of Flat horizontal is, uh, you know what the flat horizontal building is, it's a, it's a slab basically. Uh, and flat horizontal buildings uh, constitute most, uh, most of, the, of the fabric of the city uh, since the Enlightenment, with, with the kind of uh, medieval uh, property borders are replaced by other uh, property uh, mechanisms. So you can see them in Berlin, in the city looks, uh, you can see them uh, also in the Corbusier. Pretty size in uh, the Barcelona uh, block. <coughs> and you can see how sometimes uh, they are deployed onto the field uh, without uh, using, for example, relationships of, of front and back. Uh, in the case of Toulouse uh, de Denial, for example, or Wildenfell, where uh, as operations uh, produced during the welfare uh, uh, state you can see that those uh, envelopes are deployed onto the field uh, in, respect, in respect of uh, 